Hello everybody, this is Enroot, and today I have for you another video. And today's topic is about kingdom marriages and kingdom dating. Now this looks very different than regular dating. And let's let's go across regular dating because I understand that people had a little bit of confusion when it came to me saying that women need to play the field. And I think where the confusion lies is that men thought I was saying women need to sleep with every man that they date. And that makes absolutely no sense to me. But of course, and not to be, you know, not to call the guys out too much, but instead of it coming up with uh, assumptions is never a good way to go about things. And so I think uh, my, uh, the, the, the meaning behind what I was saying was a little bit confused. So I wanted to be a little bit more clear about it so that people could understand where I'm coming from and my perspective um, as a woman in this world who happens to have, uh, you know, is, is a landowner. So when I say play the field, I mean prospecting. I don't mean sleeping with anybody. And honestly, you shouldn't be even kissing anybody. You shouldn't really be touching anybody. And my point of the matter is, is having loyalty to a guy you met at a coffee shop or loyalty to a guy that you had one or two dinners with doesn't really make sense to me, uh, especially since, you know, there's probably not a commitment yet. And so if there is a commitment, you know, and you guys do, you do believe that it's going to go somewhere and you want to be intimate with that person, well, then that's great. That's absolutely great. But the difference between a kingdom marriage and just a regular dating person that's, you know, whatever, it's like I personally don't want to share my assets with someone that doesn't deserve my assets because I understand the value I bring. Now, if you're just dating for fun and whatever and you just want to, you know, have someone to hang out with and monogamously, then that I completely understand that. You know, oh, I met you at school or work or whatever. That's that's a little bit different, right? You know, if you're on like a dating app or whatever. I mean, I I find it interesting when men think that we believe that they're only dating one woman at a time. I think we I think we're not as naive as you all want us to believe. And so women need to also take, you know, a bit of what men do and understand that they don't have to. They don't have to kiss every boy they meet. They don't have to do anything. They can meet people and kind of properly vet to see if this person is actually going to be a good fit for them and the values that they bring to the table. You know, I'm not, and that, that's the thing. It's like, you can meet people. That doesn't mean you're going to marry them. And so I find it very odd. Cause it's like, why would I be loyal to someone I just met? Why would I be loyal to a stranger? And so a lot of these guys expect all your loyalty, all your time, every, and, and but the thing is, it matters is that they have, they're not giving that same loyalty back to you. So why expect something when you're not going to also give it, right? And so that, that's kind of where I get a little bit confused when the men start shaming you for being, oh, you'll never get married. I mean, if I'll never get married, well, I, I mean, I... Here's the thing about me never getting married and men trying to use it against women. At this point, marriage isn't that much of a great carrot to dangle over our heads because so far I haven't really seen too many marriages that went super perfectly, right? So, I mean, that's becoming less attractive to women, the whole marriage thing. Uh, so, you know, and, and this isn't, you know, to slay anybody. It's just... What is, what's the point of marriage anymore, right? You know, when we can't even properly vet situations without being judged. But of course, that's not true. We can properly vet situations. We can properly vet people. It's just the kind of a mechanism of action that men use to manipulate women into being loyal to men that don't deserve them. And that's what I want women to understand. There's no reason to be loyal to someone that you're not having sex with. There's no reason to be loyal to someone that isn't paying your bills. There's no reason to be loyal to someone who doesn't respect you. There's no reason to be loyal to somebody that doesn't have a commitment with you. So when I say play the field, I don't mean, hey, sleep around with Tom, Dick, and Harry. I'm just saying, see what your options are. There are a million fish in the sea. 
you don't have to deal with disrespect, abuse, and, and, and someone that doesn't really work with you just because there's kind of a chemical connection going on. You can see what other things are out there. And I think women most of the time get stuck and trapped in these situations because men are so uh, territorial, right? Men, men want all the birds, but the birds can't be free, right? No one wants to live in a golden cage anymore. And that's what a lot of times marriage has become. I have my own ideas, values, wants, needs, dreams, aspirations. So do other women. And we should be allowed to actually manifest those things into our reality without having a guy try and bring us down and say we're doing too much or whatever the case might be, right? We are people too. We are humans too. We deserve to, to follow our dreams too. We deserve to do the things that we want too. And I know not every man is out here trying to bring down ladies and, and you know, knock them down a peg or two. And for those men out here, I highly respect you. I highly value men that are strong enough in their masculinity to allow women to succeed because that has been the problem. Very low masculine men. They don't have the confidence in their own masculinity to allow women to be their full potential. Now, imagine if we lived in a world where women were allowed to be at their full potential. Well, what a world that would be, right? Pretty crazy. We haven't gotten there yet. But I wanted to make this clear. When you are going for a kingdom marriage, you're going for somebody that can see beyond what the now looks like, can see the potential and can actually have the work ethic and the integrity to bring the vision to fruition, okay? And so that what I'm saying is, is that if, if you're looking for a kingdom partner, you're looking for someone to build a wealthy lifestyle for generations to come, then you're not just out here willy-nilly giving it up and giving out your loyalty to everybody you meet because not everybody you meet is going to be your kingdom partner. So why would anybody be loyal to someone they just met? Date, and so I, maybe your, your definition of dating might be different from mine. When you're dating, you're meeting new people and those new people are strangers and you have to get to know these people to understand if they will become not a stranger in your life. So ladies, don't let these men confuse you. You can date around. They do this all the time and they have no qualms about it. All right. Don't feel bad and, and don't allow anybody to belittle you or make you feel like you're some kind of whore. Find what is right for you because that's what men do. Okay. Men don't settle. And so I need you all, ladies, to follow the leaders of this world and do the same thing. This is Enroute, and we're out.